Okay, so in this portion of the challenge, I'm asking you to take your image and upload it to Google Drawings and then mark all the polygons you can find in your image. So, um, two things. First, uh, go ahead and go to this website, docs.google.com slash drawings. And we're gonna call it polygon activity. And the image I decided to use for my topic, so my topic this week is Donald Trump. And the image I decided on was this image. So I'm gonna copy it. And I'm gonna go ahead and paste it into Google Drawings. So you're gonna to try to make it as big as you can. And have it be, have it take up your entire page. So whatever image for your topic you chose, you're gonna go ahead and have it be on Google Drawing. Next, you're gonna mark all the polygons that you see in the picture. So if you need help with suggestions on the type of polygons, you can go back to the polygon Venn diagram and the shapes that we are talking about, the polygons we would like for you to try and mark are here. So triangles, squares, these diamond looking things, trapezoids. We'll talk about what these shapes are later. Um, but for now, try to see if you can spot as many of these shapes in your image. So in your image, in my example, Okay, I see that this microphone kind of looks like an oval, kind of like a stretched out circle. So I'm going to go to the shapes icon, select the circular looking symbol there, and draw a circle around the microphone. So um, I want my shapes to be transparent, so I'm going to select my shape. I'm going to click on this fill color button. And I'm going to make it transparent. And I also want to mark it in red so that it's, it stands out. So I'm going to select my shape. I'm going to go to this pen button and select red. Then I'm going to select the weight. So this makes the, the outline thicker. I'm going to select three. So you can see very clearly I've marked um, this microphone as looking like an oval, like an egg. Okay. Um, other shapes I see in this picture, I kind of think his hair looks like um, like a rhombus. So it kind of looks like this shape. But reverse, so you can take your shape, you can reverse it by flipping it over like that. So again, I'm going to select it to be transparent, mark it in red, make it heavier, and then kind of stretch it out to fit over rotate it a little bit so you can rotate by selecting this circle part and rotating if you need help with this you can ask me in workshop of course um, so this part kind of looks like a rhombus um, I kind of see a half circle right here so I'm gonna select that shape um, and it looks like this shape Transparent, get red, make it heavier so you can see it better. Rotate it a little bit, make it a little bit smaller, maybe it kind of fits right here. Okay, so this part kind of looks like so. As you can see, there are all these different types of polygons. There's a triangle right here, I feel like, kind of looks like this triangle. Uh, this kind of right triangle. I'm going to make a right triangle right here. To flip it over, right? There you go. Make it transparent, make it red, make it heavier. Rotate it a little bit. So make it 
kind of fit into where it belongs. So um, hopefully you're seeing, you know, what shapes there are in your images and you can start creating these polygons to mark the different shapes in your image. So go ahead, go take your image, put it on Google Drawings and try to find at least, um, let's see, I put out a number here. It says to find at least 12 different polygons. So, so far you have 16 options, right? All these different shapes. And I have found one, two, three, four different types. So don't do like 12 squares, right? Don't find a picture with a bunch of squares and say, oh, well, I found 12 squares. Try to find 12 different polygons. Mark them and then go ahead and take a screenshot or save your image so you can go ahead and save it either as a PDF or as a JPEG, whatever, and then you can go ahead and upload it here on Dream Seed Do.